All right, in this lesson, we're going to introduce you to VEX code VR by doing the coral reef cleanup level one, coral reef cleanup level two, and coral reef cleanup level three. Um, so uh, this, I don't know why this is down here, it's supposed to be up there. But anyway, we're, uh, for each activity, you're going to save your programming file with your name and the tutorial name. So for example, uh, first initial, last name, and then the CRC level one. And then if you do the next one, be your first initial last name, CRC level two, and so on for level three as well. Um, and attach those files to Google Classroom in the assignment. So we need to go to uh, vr.vex.com. We're gonna click on tutorials in the top left side. It's always a good idea to read the directions first. So you just kind of have an idea of what you gotta do. If you can't remember, you can always come back and read it again. So we're gonna click on tutorials on the left side of the, of the top blue bar. I'll show you what that means. Click on Coral Reef Cleanup Level 1, watch the video, then program your robot, attach your file to Google Classroom. Then do the next one, same thing, tutorials left side, clean up two, same thing, do three, okay? Uh, if you want to, for extra edit, capture the screen uh, when your robot has finished, uh, the battery is completely empty, so I can see how much trash uh, you collected. So you'll see in later, it'll collect uh, trash and keep track of how much you've collected. So this is VexVR. Um, this is what I was talking about going to tutorials. So again, I'll do that again. VexVR might look like something like this. I'm not sure this way. Uh, delete, how do I keep that? Delete, there we go. So this is what it looks like, I think, when you guys first open it. Um, tutorials is right here. Click on that, it looks like this. And here you're going to see Coral Reef Cleanup 1, 2, and 3. So we're going to do uh, level one, Let's see what we got here. In the coral reef cleanup activity, you will use VexCode VR to code your VR robot to drive and collect as much trash as possible to protect the coral reef. In VexCode VR, every project begins with a when started block. The toolbox contains many different blocks that you can use to code your VR robot. For instance, you can use drivetrain blocks to drive around the coral reef cleanup playground. The drive form block will drive the robot for a specific distance. Drag it from the toolbox and attach it to the when started block to add it to your project. To change the direction the robot will drive, select forward or reverse. To change the distance the robot will travel, change the parameter. The turn four block will turn your robot for a specific distance. Drag the turn four block from the toolbox and attach it to the drive four block. To change the direction the robot will turn, select right or left. To change the degrees the robot will turn, change the parameter. Use the drive four and turn four blocks in your project to drive your VR robot in any direction. Blocks can easily be rearranged and deleted. Once you are ready to test your code, select start from the toolbar. Watch as the coral reef cleanup playground opens and the VR robot starts driving. The coral reef cleanup activity will end after the VR robot's battery is empty. To stop your robot before the battery is drained, select the stop in the toolbar or the stop button in the playground window. After the VR robot's battery is empty or the activity is stopped, you will see the total weight of trash collected. Try again to improve your project and collect more trash. If you need help getting started, open the Coral Reef Cleanup Level 1 example project. To open the example project, select file in the toolbar. Choose open examples and select coral reef cleanup level one. The example project will open in the workspace. You can start the project or you can add, remove and change the blocks in the example project to collect more trash. Good luck and have fun. 
All right, so honestly, this uh, this example that, that they bring in, um, where's the example? Right there. Um, doesn't, you know, just kind of goes around in circles, goes uh, 80 and turns right. So we can do that. And let's see, we can do that by going to file, uh, open examples, find the coral reef cleanup. I guess I had something that it wants me to see. I'll go ahead and see it. Anyway, so this is what it looks like. And if you were to play it, let's go ahead and play it. Oops. Yeah, I don't. Let's just cancel that. Go ahead and play it. Um, this is what the robot does. And it definitely needs some work. So please add to this. Here we go. It goes 800. And I like the fact that it blinks green, turns 90 degrees, and then just stops. So it doesn't do anything after that. So are you going to collect any more trash? No. So we definitely need to tell it to do more things. So in this activity, you're just going to play around um, with dragging in um, things from here, mostly the blue drivetrain code, and just make your robot drive around. Uh, you could get a little creative with control and maybe repeat steps or uh, do a forever block or something like that. If you want to get creative like that, that would help it do you know, forward 800, turn 90 degrees, forward 800, turn 90 degrees, just keep looping through if you use the forever block. So give that a shot for that one. Um, and then save your file and send it to me in Google Classroom. We'll talk about that later. All right, so the next one was Coral Reef Cleanup 2. A little bit different. Let's read it. Let's watch this video. In the Coral Reef Cleanup activity, you will use VexCode DR to code your VR robot to drive and collect as much trash as possible to protect the coral reef. In VexCode DR, every project begins with a when started block. The toolbox contains many different blocks that you can use to code your VR robot. For instance, you can use drivetrain blocks to drive around the coral reef cleanup playground. The drive for block will drive the robot for a specific distance. Drag it from the toolbox and attach it to the when started block to add it to your project. To change the direction the robot will drive, select forward or reverse. To change the distance the robot will travel, change the parameter. The turn four block will turn your robot for a specific distance. Drag the turn four block from the toolbox and attach it to the drive four block. To change the direction the robot will turn, select right or left. To change the degrees the robot will turn, change the parameter. Use the drive four and turn four blocks in your project to drive your VR robot in any direction. Blocks can easily be rearranged and deleted. You can use drivetrain blocks to drive around the coral reef cleanup playground, but you can also collect trash by using sensors. So this is the new part. And control blocks in your project. The VR robot has several sensors that allow it to interact with its environment. For example, the VR robot is equipped with a trash detecting distance sensor. Try using a sensor in your project to bring some intelligence to your robot. You can use control blocks like wait until. So the VR robot waits until trash is detected, then drives towards the trash. If you need help using the distance sensor in a project, open the Coral Reef Cleanup Level 2 Example Project. To open the example project, select File in the toolbar. Choose Open Examples and select Coral Reef Cleanup Level 2. The example project will open in the workspace. You can add, remove, and change the blocks in the example project to collect more trash. Once you are ready to test your project, select Start from the toolbar. Watch as the Coral Reef Cleanup Playground opens and the VR robot starts driving. 
The coral reef cleanup activity will end after the VR robot's battery is empty. To stop your robot before the battery is drained, select the stop in the toolbar or the stop button in the playground window. After the VR robot's battery is empty or the activity is stopped, you will see the total weight of trash collected. All right. So that's, um, that's uh, part two. Just use some sensors in it. So again, you can go into file, open up examples, pick a coral reef example number two, um, and see what it has here. But again, it's it's just going to do these things in order, and then it's going to be done. So if we go go ahead and play this, this is what would happen. And again, I like the green here. So it's driving forward, 800, collect something. It's turning right. It's it detected something. And so it does that. Um, and again, it's just stopped. It's done. So again, look to use some of these um, control buttons, things here, or just continue to add more things like another turn and another wait um, until the sensor detects an object found. So just keep adding these blocks or determine to do a forever loop so that it continues to turn right and look for new things. Um, so keep working on that. And then when you're all done, you're going to, I need to, where's, where's my mouse? My mouse keeps blinking. Stop this thing. There we go. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to need to uh, share. I think that's how we do it. Let's close this. I don't know what my computer is blinking. What's going on here? Oh, yeah. So I click share, save your files, and then be able to upload the PDF document to Google Classroom. So that's what's just happening there. Okay, I'm going to cancel. You guys can save it and then share it. What is this thing doing? Anyway. Anyway. Okay, uh, and then the last one you're going to do is uh, the tutorial that is part three. And this one really kind of brings in what I've been saying all along. I'm not going to watch this whole video because, again, the first part of this video is the same as the other two videos. So let's see if we can get past all that. Let's see, our robot. that's all the same. That's still the same. That's still the same. Crash. If you need help getting started, open the Coral Reef Cleanup Level 3 Example Project. To open. Let's see. Is this the same? Yeah, that's still the same. Oh, so here it is. Here's the difference. Bring some intelligence. Bring some intelligence to your robot by creating an algorithm that uses sensor feedback to collect trash, no matter where it shows up on the Coral Reef Rescue Playground. Use feedback from the down eye sensor in your algorithm to keep the robot within the blue barrier where it can collect trash. If you need help getting started, open the Coral Reef Cleanup Level 3 Example Project. To open the Example Project, select File in the toolbar. Choose Open Examples and select Coral Reef Cleanup Level 3. The Example Project will open in the workspace. This example uses a forever block with the down eye sensor on the VR robot to continually check for the blue boundary in order to avoid driving into the coral reef. You can add, remove, and change the blocks in the example project to collect more trash. Once you are ready to test your code, select Start from the toolbar. Watch as the coral reef cleanup playground opens and the VR robot starts driving. The coral reef cleanup activity will end after the VR robot's battery is empty. To stop your robot before the battery is drained, select the stop in the toolbar or the stop button in the playground window. After the VR robot's battery is empty or the activity is stopped, you will see the total weight of trash collected. Try again to improve your project and collect more trash from the coral reef. All right, so again, um, it does talk about the forever loop this time. I told you guys about that before. Um, but if you were just to run this, open up examples, scroll reef, clean up, you know, it's, it's neat. It's got the down arrow, down eye, detecting the blue. 
but still um, doesn't kind of do everything it should. So all these assignments are to make you, see there we detected the blue, so now it's going to turn some random integer degrees. And you could change that to use the front eye to detect a distance in the object when it's turning. You can add some things in there like that from uh, level two. So right now we've added it so that when it you know goes all the way across and, and runs into that, what looks to me is gray, they're calling it blue. It then decides that, hey, I've gone too far. Let me turn around some random thing. But you can see it doesn't go towards trash per se. So if you could change the code a little bit and make it use the front eye to detect an object in the distance, you might be able to collect more trash. So again, all these assignments are for creativity purposes. There's no set blocks that you need to put in here. Uh, bring in stuff, see what you can get the robot to do, learn from failures, learn from um, you know successes, and see what you can create. Uh, again, when you're all done, you're going to go to share. That's going to save your code as a PDF. Save it, attach it to Google Classroom, and turn it and turn that in. If you want extra credit. When you play it, you can screen capture. Um, you can screen capture your your screen and how many kilograms that you you uh, were able to pick up, and put that in for extra credit. Thank you. Look forward to seeing your code.